Hello, dear viewers. Welcome to Teardown. This is a game that lets you live out your childhood fantasies of destroying pretty much whatever you want because you're destructive like that. I thoroughly enjoy this game, and I think you're going to at least enjoy the wanton destruction that this game allows me to perform. So without further ado, let's get into the campaign. Part 1 Objective, walk home. Locale Transit, Route 4. L luck? I don't know what that accent over the O means. But look! This is our home! We live in a factory, warehouse looking thing. With a train yard! Look at this! We have a whole train that built into what looks like a very old tunnel. What? Oh god, what is happening? I don't know what just happened. I've played the first level of this game just to make sure that everything works and figure out how the game plays. So you don't have to see me, like, struggle with stuff to figure out, Oh, I'm reading the description of this or that. Oh, I mean, for the basic tools. You know, like, the, the sledgehammer you start with, because... See, it's right here. Naturally. Um, what else can we do? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Um, what, what else? Uh, we could put something here. Yeah! Yeah, look at that. That, that that's about it, actually. Well, that was my painting, and I don't see a point in destroying it. But I don't care. I think you can... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like doing that. We're gonna open this door here. Now, I think we're supposed to use the hammer... ...like that. But I like destroying things. No, come on, let me- let me destroy the sign! Oh. Oh, that went through the, um... What is this, metal? I think this is like a metal cargo container. I can't break it with the hammer, because it's too tough. There! We got a new fuse in here! We can see- We can see again! I mean, it's the middle of the day, so we can always see. You can go mining if you want. You hit stone and can't go any farther. But look at this! Oh. Construction is on the rise. Demolition is on the fall. Uh, Tracy from Lockell Teardown Services. Sounds familiar. Pretty good throw. I expected the table to be liquefied. Tracy! Gas bill! Gas bill just dropped on the floor. Honestly, I'm not sure we can make it through the month. Are you getting any requests? At this point, we pretty much have to accept anything. Be creative. Hugs, mom. Oh, this is our mom! I didn't know that! This just came in. Sounds kind of fishy, but we need the money. You up for it? Good evening. My name is Gordon Wu, general manager at the Evertides Mall. I have a slight problem with an old building that's blocking your plans for a new wing, and I need someone to knock it over. I need it gone by tomorrow, and I'd even be willing to pay more than the standard rate for some extra discretion. Quick execution and uncomfortable working hours. Would you be able to take care of it? Yeah, sure! The Palisades Mall! Upscale shopping center by the waterfront managed by Gordon Wu. Also in the area is Lockhell Municipality Folk Museum. I, I probably said that wrong. Help him demolish a building. Now we get to the bread and butter of this game. Look! This is my van! I can escape whenever I want. But why do I do that? The building is the one who should be escaping me. Look at this! Protected cultural heritage. That's cute. Now I could use the door like a normal person. Honestly, I don't have time though. Look at this chair! I don't care. 
There's not really anything in this building. Well, there's not going to be a building for it to be in either. You can tear out the ceiling too. Look, you make sure there's no like rats hiding up in there. Uh, you know, if someone hadn't destroyed all the chairs, we could jump on them like this and see that you know there's nothing up here. I don't know how the darkness is going to translate to YouTube. So, a few of a few of my viewers have said that they want to see me play this game. As in, I put up a poll and like what 75 percent of people or so. Just about, like, three-fourths people said they wanted to see me play this game, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play some of this game. You all in the comments, all, like, ten of you who are actually watched this video, can tell me if you want to see more or not. <coughs> you know what? How about this? Drink some water right now. You're probably dehydrated. Or it's been a bit since you've drank some water. That's why I'm coughing, because I didn't drink enough water yet. Propane tanks explode when thrown. Yes, they do. So we're gonna just like get out of my way. Lace the second floor with these. Because it's no. Ah, my skin! Okay, let's be a bit more careful this time. As you can see, the propane tanks don't have all of a large explosion, so if you think you're gonna do what you did in Halo 3 and pile 32 fusion coils all together and create a super explosion that you can see from the other side of the map, uh, you can't do that. I have tried. We're just gonna put them all like here. Now there's some more we can grab. Whoops. Right over here. In case we were getting lonely. Now we don't need all these. We're just gonna... Chuck it in there. I don't even think it has enough power to set the others off at that distance. Yeah, look, it's... Oh, that'll be fine. I didn't expect to set things on fire this early, but it looks like we're doing it. I almost killed myself with this one, too. I'm not very good at... I don't know, avoiding death? There it is. Now this is an old building, so the uh, safety s protocols aren't that great. There it is. See? Chain reaction isn't all that great. I'll be honest. Uh, I, w I wanted... I wish they were bigger. That's what I want. But we're gonna take this truck... Something just exploded. We're gonna take this truck here and demolish this tree. Because screw nature. I hate trees. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Now we have to take this thing, which I'm not used to seeing these without treads. I don't know if that tells you where I live or not. If I see any of you outside my house, expect me to stab you. With a knife. There we go. I don't think that worked. Yeah. This tree actually has best the technology. Actually, this is just like a pile of leaves and... I don't know, it kind of looks pretty. Have one of these in a garden. Still gotta demolish this building. And this is actually boring. Because you get actual fun tools and challenges later on. I've only seen like three. Do I need to get rid of this chimney? I mean, I guess we could put the fire out. I mean, I don't want the fire to go out. Well, I want the fire down here to go out. I don't want it up there to go out. Let's just get more propane tanks. I never should have doubted high explosives. Whoops. Take care of this fireplace and chimney. Ah, uh, that put a dent in it. Which is 
actually kind of weird that I have to use explosives to do it, because you'd figure a sledgehammer would at least be able to break some bricks, all things considered, because of what sledgehammers are meant to do. Another dent in it, we're eating away at it. I don't think there's a sprint in this game, so I'm stuck moving at this pace. The fire should do some of our job for us. By tearing out the roof. Oh, wow. Fine. We'll keep using these until the damn fireplace chimney combo is gone. Actually, I think the fireplace is going to be fine. The chimney, that's a problem. Ah. Uh, what? Damn you, structural integrity. You're foiling all of my plans. Ah. There's a new refrigerator right here. I don't know why it's new. There's a stove too. I think they explode. No, I guess not. Oh, no, it depends on the kind of stove. If it was a gas stove, it would have exploded. Fine, we'll grab the last one here. Oh my god. Now I'm gonna make sure that this gets the chimney. Oh, it's two meters too tall. It's also too heavy for me to push with my hands. There we go. We did it! We've demolished a small house and left it a smoldering ruin. Let's leave before the cops show up. Look at that. We did it. Let's see how long it took. Seven minutes! Seven and a half minutes. And then... I hate that noise. With a passion. Look! It's our blanket! We sleep on a freaking stretcher! Well, we slept on a stretcher until someone threw it downstairs. I don't know what this is. It looks like... A cake? It's pretty indestructible! We got a car. An old jalopy, it looks like. It's that Jeep from Half-Life 2 Episode 2, but painted teal. Or it was bronze color in it. Bronze? I think bronze turns that color. Moving the operation to the West Point Marina. I don't smoke. Get out of here. Cool, I got a new message. Uh, what a morning. Shouldn't have taken that job. I knew something wasn't right. That building was under cultural heritage protection and the demolition is now part of a criminal investigation. Miss Turdeman at the police just sent me this photo. They must have caught you on a traffic cam heading towards the mall. The very last thing we need right now is an investigation. I tried sweet talking her and she thought she could get the case dropped but asked for a favor in return. I don't know if she wants, just do it. She'll email you directly. <clears throat> Just so you know, I don't usually do this, but I'm stuck on a case and I feel like I should try something new. I've been investigating Lawrence Lee Jr. over tax evasion for months now, but he has so many friends in town that I can't get a warrant. How about you use your skills to borrow the computers over at Lee Chemicals so that I can finally access his custom registry and sort this mess out? If you do this, I'll make sure your little blunder will be forgotten. Oh yeah. Operated by the Lee family for three generations, Lawrence Lee Jr. showed a promising start but developed a weakness for fast cash. He is now a well-known name in the criminal underworld, Lee Chemicals. Let's go steal his computers, because we need something to run Doom. Look at this! It's like a piñata. You know, doing this would kill you, so don't ever do that. Oh, and while I think of it, you should probably check and make sure you aren't using mobile data on your phone. Because my phone likes to automatically turn that on. 
Look, a lootable! We got $50! Because we stole something. I guess we just have it on our person now. Ah, here's what I want. This front door is locked. See? It's locked. We want to get in there. So we're just going to have to do some B&E. Now first up, I should notice fire alarm. Large fires will trigger the alarm. And then we have our objectives. Like this. And this. And then finally, this one. But you can see all the map. Like there's this entire building over here on the corner. I don't know what it's for. So we go in here, and he has a whiteboard set up. Today's visitors, I don't care. What's behind your bookshelf, loser? Nothing. What's behind these? Money! That's some pretty good hinges right there. What do you hide in your bathroom, nerd? Nothing. Because you don't have a bathroom anymore. Gonna mess up your floorboards. Some of your stairs, not all of your stairs. Which means you have to tear out the old ones. I don't know what this is. I think it's like a copier. It's a bunch of rubble now. That's a computer. We don't need those. Not in this business. It's a lamp. Get that out of here. This is a desk. Get that out of here. Part of the printer thing, whatever. Get all this out of here. We don't need a bookshelf. We don't need it. Door? Ah, here's what we're after. We're after this computer. Yep, there we go. As gentle as a cat. Oh, this is a water pipe. Cool. Well, only if the water going through it is cool. Now, I don't know very much about this game beyond, uh, what? You steal, I guess it's like payday. Don't erase Atticus off limits for all employees. I don't care. What is this? Why do you have, like, double-layered walls, like it's seven days to die or something? You're scared of zombies, nerd. I guess that's why. Now, the attic is off-limits. Okay. Deductible pension fund. Nice. Is there anything up here? There's this. What is this? Oh, it's an ant- It was an antenna. Just like this? Yeah. Try getting your three shitty TV channels now, nerd. What was that? What did I just do? Oh, I took out the sign from behind the building. Damn. I got a strong arm. That's our first objective completed, though. Let's move on to our second, which I think is in here. Oh, right. The thing I was going to say about knowing about this game is I watched, I think it was, I watched some members of Vine Sauce, namely Vinny and Joel play it. I remember the only thing I know about Vinny's playthrough is that he did the car. There was this car heist and you could steal the, what's it called? The... You had to steal the cars, but you could take the spoiler off, which had a... an alarm wire? It was wired up to an alarm. I don't think I can climb this. We're gonna go down lower. I want this to be a ramp. You could take the spoiler off of the car without triggering the alarm, and then the developers just patched that out, which is weird because it's like... Reward creative players, you know, but I guess not and then Joel spent Like an hour trying to unwedge a car That he got stuck in a window just by pulling it Target number two and there's some science in here Yummy All right, we didn't ca cause any fires yet 
And this thing, if any of you know what this is, I'm pretty sure you know what this is. It's the thing you load like crates onto it like this. You load it on like that and you can wheel it and it makes moving things easier. Yeah, wouldn't it suck if someone were to just do that? Where's our last objective? In that house right there. Listen, I don't know about you, but I think that house is very fortified. See? It's a wooden house! Look at how fortified it is. I can't get through it. That's the objective. Hold up. I'm just gonna jump through these electric cables. Now, I do remember this. Give me that money. Now, we can leave. Or... I could... Um... Here. Give me, like... supposed to be three. Thirteen minutes. Just, just thirteen minutes. Yeah, that about does it. He'll have a lot of fun cleaning off that wall. Well, I think it's about time I get out of here. You know, with all the, uh, dangerous equipment laying about. I also don't think that this electric tower inside the river is going to be very fun to deal with when everyone wakes up. So let's just get out of here. You know, I think this took more than 13 minutes. All of you, dear viewers, you'll you'll see why. But I think I think it was time well spent, honestly. Let's get out of here. And no one will be the wiser. I think we just drove through a tree. 30 minutes! So it may have taken me just a bit longer than I wanted to because I sort of maybe got caught in a lethal explosion. Now if we just take this up here, I hope this isn't too expensive. But we did it. When all is said and done, we did it. There has been a break-in at Lee Chemicals. The perpetrator caused property damage and managed to get away with electronic equipment. CEO Lawrence Lee Jr. says they will upgrade security and should be up and running again soon. I'm very impressed he says soon. I leveled his house, pump iron, but this has been teardown. It's very fun and all of my friends that play it say it's great. I guess we all have that monkey brain where we're just, oh, smash, me like smash, house smash, let's smash. Ugh. And the monkey smash part, caveman bit of our brain is being pleased by the fact that we can just do whatever, however. Yeah, like this. So this game just pleases that singular neuron that we all share for destroying things and it thoroughly 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 satisfies me because i'm a very destructive individual i just hold myself back in every facet except in video games because it doesn't matter in video games so i'm gonna enjoy this game a lot let me know in the comments if you want to see me play more of this and i could do like tear down tuesday alliteration well Regardless, this is the end of the video, so thanks a lot for watching. I hope you have a good rest of your day, and take care. I'll catch you next time.